Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am trying a bunch of strawberry flavored special edition things from 7-Eleven. So I can't wait to experience it for the first time with you. So let's just go ahead and get into it. The very first thing I want to try is this kitten strawberry pocky alcoholic beverage just because I want to get the party started. It is 4% alcohol. It is limited edition and that's about it. Wow, this is actually very refreshing. It's really not sweet at all. I've had other fruit flavored drinks in Japan before and they've all been really, really sweet. And this is not, this is like, it's very refreshing. It tastes like strawberry, but it's not very overpowering. And to be honest, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. I would definitely drink this again. The carbonation in it isn't as powerful as I would want it to be but it's still almost like a soda. Think of a strawberry soda, just not very sweet, and the alcohol in it, I can't taste it. It's not very forward and prominent. So if you don't like the flavor of alcohol, this would be a really great option for you. The next thing I wanna try are these strawberry custard and whipped cream sandwiches. And everyone always talks about these strawberry sandwiches, so when I saw them for the first time today, I had to get it. Think how satisfying. That's this is. Oh. Let's talk about how beautiful it is. I think you could tell like how soft this is going to be. I'm expecting it to not be overly sweet in true Japanese desserts. The bread is always going to be like really soft and moist and I love that there's no crust on it. So let's just try it. This is so freaking good. I love this. The whipped cream is fresh. The custard isn't overbearing at all. It's just like, an, it adds a little creaminess to it. And yeah, this, I'm a big fan. Mm. This next item is the rice cake with strawberry cream. I'm assuming it's mochi with some type of like cream and it looks like a strawberry jelly. I adore, by the way, the packaging color for these. It's so pretty. It's actually a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I saved her. It's covered in flour because it would be really sticky otherwise. I wish you could feel this. So you know when you're a kid and you're playing with like really soft play-doh so imagine that but like cold and like you can actually eat it without getting in trouble that's exactly what it feels like it feels very delicate it's so soft like okay i should probably stop playing with it it's so delicate it actually melts in your mouth it's like a strawberry whipped cream, which I didn't think it'd be a whipped cream. I thought it was going to be a little bit different. And then the inside is a strawberry jam, but it's fresh strawberries. It's not fake. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's really sticky. Mmm. This is another mochi. I got it because I like mochi. <laughs> I don't know. It looked good. I think I have another mochi too. Oh. This one's a lot harder than the other one. So I'm not too sure what's in it. Peeking inside, it looks like it's like a Rice Krispie treat inside. So... I'm very happy and not sure what to expect at the moment. So let's just try this. I'm gonna get close. It's not a nice crispy treat. Why does it look like that? You, that looks like a nice crispy treat inside. This is an actual 
mochi that's like a strawberry. It's not as fresh as the other stuff. This one actually tastes like it has like Cool Whip on it. Cool Whip. Only a few people think that's funny. Um, yeah, not my favorite. The overall dish is like a wash as I keep eating them. I think they're like Pocky sticks, but they're filled with strawberries on the inside, some type of strawberry filling. I have no doubt in my mind this is gonna be delicious. Oh, there's a fancy way to open this. Of course there is. <laughs> I don't know why I act surprised anymore. Okay, let's see if I can get this right. Oh, yeah, it did work. I don't I don't know why that's necessary, but we're here. It opened oh it opened like that. Ooh, they're big! Okay, so you can't blow through it, but it, it certainly looks like you could try. Yeah, that's definitely your pretzel on the outside. Filled with some type of pink yogurt tea thing. Mmm. Mmm. I love the texture of this. It does have the crunch of a pretzel and it has a very slight pretzel flavor. But the pretzel is actually really, really thin. So you get a little crunch and then the inside, it's not like white chocolate but it's some type of strawberry flavored thing very similar to that and again it's not overly sweet it's very mild and delicious these are delicious yeah i would definitely get these again they're kind of like a nice little snack the next item on my list to try is literally called jelly and milk i don't know what to expect but i haven't really been disappointed yet let me show you what it looks like It's cute. I love how small all the desserts are too. Like, I'm gonna be sick after this, but. Um, nah, I could. It's just, I don't know why you would buy this. <laughs> Let me try to be a better explainer. The gelatin is hard. So like when you bite into it, it like slowly separates. I don't know. And I'm not normally a texture person, but I don't want to chew my jelly. I'm sure there's a word for this. It's probably some type of like rice jelly. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm good. The last one is a cream puff with strawberry milk. I really wanted to try this one because it's so big compared to all the other Japanese desserts. It's large and in charge. Yes, I knew it was gonna be like this. And it's like this bread pastry, this beautiful, vibrant, pink roll. It's bread. Mm. Normally you wouldn't eat it like this, but for the sake of your own entertainment, that's how I'm doing it. I think what happened is I had it sitting out too long, so it like quasi melted. Hmm. It's kind of like an eclair. You guys have had those chocolate eclairs before with the chocolate on top shaped differently in all strawberry flavor. So it's like a strawberry whipped cream, strawberry custard inside. It's freaking delicious. It's not overly sweet. And the bread is really, like adds a good consistency. I think that's the best way for me to describe it. Like a strawberry eclair, but delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the bell. The bell basically gives you notifications when my videos go up. Subscribing doesn't do that. Leave a comment if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up or feel free to leave some comments recommending things you wanna see me try 
going into the future here in Japan. And I will talk to you guys soon. My Instagram is her atlas on all social channels. Make sure you guys say hey, and I'll see you guys soon. Have you been here the whole time?